Hey everybody, Envious Cosplay here. We're back again. The last time that we did an audio commentary was about a couple years ago in 2019. We covered The Dark Knight, but this one's going to be a bit of a throwback. Specifically because next year we are getting The Batman. The Riddler is going to be back as a villain, and I think it's about time we take a little retrospective back at Batman Forever. The very first time we got Robin on live action on TV. No, I'm sorry, not TV, on the movie side, because yeah. TV, they had Burt Ward for that movie. And mm -hmm. speaking of Robin, I have my resident Robin <laughs> aficionado expert here, Jonachrome. He was on the last commentary for Dark Knight, and he's back again. Hey, everyone, it's Vinny here, uh, Jonachrome. Uh, I'm back. I'm happy to be back and doing this. I'm happy to be back <laughs> Looking at some fun DC content, even the campy stuff, which is kind of my jam. And as Emmy said, uh, yeah, I am a self, self, I guess you could say, titled and expert on most things Robin related. Specifically, also anything DC sidekicks related. Uh, I have done the Robin circuit cosplay and a lot of the sidekicks for about five years now. So I, who else but, but another boy wonder to see another boy wonder. Alrighty. He's like 35 in the movie. <laughs> Who's orphaned? Orphaned at a... In his early 30s? 30s? In his early 30s. Okay, we'll say that when we actually yeah, start. We'll so, see. um, let's... Let's go. Let's... Okay, so we're going to be watching it on digital. Uh, we're watching it on HBO Max, so set your movie um. to... Uh, zero hours and zero seconds, mm -hmm. and the runtime is about two hours and one minute and 33 seconds. But we're not going to watch the whole ending, yeah, ending. Yeah. We're not going to watch the credits because yeah. there's no post credit. <laughs> this, this, is, was, this is back before I even thought about it. Yeah, credits. any connected things or anything like mm -hmm. that. This so, is going to be movie here, watch, go. Yeah, so once the credits start rolling, we're going to be pretty much done. But mm -hmm. all right, with that said, let's have it go in three, two, one. Batman Holy forever. Holy cinema, Batman! Exactly. Ah, oh, Warner Brothers. You have a lot of drama going on nowadays. But an amazing fighting game coming up, so cool. Oh, that logo. It's a bat. That's a wrong animal. That's a bird. That's your specialty. <laughs> and also, that's like a crime. Joel Schumacher. Rest in peace, sir. I love Lost Boys. I liked your Phantom of, of the Opera. And Val Kilmer! <laughs> Oh, doing okay. He's going through some mess. Yeah, medically. Medically, yeah. Tommy Lee Jones. I don't think he wanted to be here, but. Nope. I heard he doesn't. He didn't like the production. And Jim Carrey. Yeah. <laughs> Doctor Robotnik. <laughs> Pingus. <laughs> Aquaman's mom. Oh yeah, she's 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 It's your favorite character, Chris O'Donnell. <laughs> Yay. I love the music in this one so much. I, I don't understand why people don't like the music in this movie. Thank you, it's, I think it's fun. It's, it, like it sounds very heroic. It's not like the other one didn't have that either. Yeah. Like, the Danny Elfman one sounded heroic as yeah. hell. I love the suit of montage here. Where's his nips? And that's, yeah, let's talk about that. <laughs> the costume design movie. on this. Everything else is great. I will say that. I love like, the sleek look. The you know? super musculature on Batman's suit in this movie, the black suit. With the muscles on it? Yeah, the first one before he gets the sonar one. Yeah. That's how Batman in the 90s was. He was overly jacked but cut. It, it was the comics thing, right? Yeah. yeah. It was because they were all, because they, it was a reference to Greek gods. Yeah. Think, which but the character. whole nipple thing, I I don't know what was going on with that production, but I could look past it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get trapped. And then remember oh, this, this Batmobile, I love it. This is Val Kilmer's Batmobile. It's my favorite. Like the neon blue and the super huge exaggerated it's very, it's Batwing. Batman, you know? Yeah. It's Batman, you know? Yeah. Like people are like, what's so stealthy about this Batmobile? It has blue Dude, lights all over. It's a comic book. Embrace it. Look, Shut your brain like, off. Spy kids, you know, it looks all neon. Yeah, I, that's what I didn't understand about this Gotham City. Like, why is everything neon? Oh, there's the boy Tommy Lee. So, as everyone knows, Two Face got a big change sometime in 2008. Yeah. But here he's, uh, 
a lot sillier, you know? A lot sillier, but he refers to himself as we like he does in yeah. the comics and the video games. Mm -hmm. But then again, the way that they establish in this, like, he's been... Tommy Lee Jones' Harvey Dent has been two-faced for a while. A while, yeah. The thing is, everyone, even today, still want a villain to be, this is year one, or this is the start of it. I'm like, like I we can't... want something that, like, Robert Pattinson's Batman is. He's been at this for about yeah. a year or two. Like, with, example, recently, Tom Holland's Spider-Man. Yeah, he's been uh, for a while. Yeah, like, Civil War. He just was already doing it. Right? Yeah, like, like, what, almost a year? Mm-hmm. Like, so it's just fine. Like, we don't need done with, like, origins for yeah. everything. There, nothing, not everything needs an origin. Like, if they do another Spider-Man origin story, it's like, oh, God, I can get oh, my Spider-Man. Oh, he is getting one animated. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, the um, Spider-Man thing. Which yeah. Is Which is, okay, cartoon-wise, I'm fine with Like, make it a series, it's fine, but we don't need it in a movie. Yeah, it's mostly basically Spider-Man's college years and everything, which I'm fine with, you know? It's funny that he says that, which implies that he eats wine and roses. Well, he said he loved, he loved. I think that some people like they mix it together, get the rose petals. And oh, okay. Uh, Aquaman's mom, who did literally nothing but be horny for that. Right. This is, her whole thing is yeah. Batman. She wants to bang Batman. Imagine Batman. He's like, Robin, get the anti-horny bonker. <laughs> Holy libido, Batman. <laughs> This is the smartest I've seen this Commissioner Gordon be. I keep forgetting that's Gordon because Gordon I always see as toothbrush and like Gary Oldman. Gary Oldman and Finn. Hey God. But even back then in the comics, Gordon was a bit. He was a bit uh, pudgier, yeah. A bit tubby. Yeah. This is my favorite Batman cow too. It's really good. that one I keep seeing being made a lot in really. recently, yeah. She's flirting with him. Great right. work. She is super horny. Just. I mean, can you blame her? It's Val Kilmer. That's true. In his 90s prime. Val Kilmer. In his prime. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. As Batman. Well, that horn probably wasn't acting. <laughs> I also love how, like, they keep her shot, like, with the light behind her and the wind swept and everything. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, you're supposed to get off to this Batman. Good. You're supposed to get off to this woman. Mm. <laughs> I don't think she's going to chase that, eh? <laughs> the way she looks is very... Oh, he's like, oh, he's gone. Fuck. I don't know how fair he is! Wait, really, like, you know what? I feel this came out a little too late, early. Because you know if this came out now, there's a huge appreciation for the camp. There is so much appreciation for Silly. Yeah. Also, that jingling you heard was possibly my dog. Yeah, that he's was a, his dog. He's our third guest commentator. Just scratching. Because he's Ace, the bat hound. Watching. I love, I love this. The credits are still going, I keep realizing. And like, yeah, we this don't get, feels so comic. Yeah, we don't even get like like henchmen that have like themed outfits anymore and everything. I know. We mostly just get goons or military guys. Yeah. You know? This is so something that I like to hide at the top of the elevator mm -hmm. and then boom. Oh, that's silhouette. Right. I'm sorry, guys. I'm gonna be simping over. He's simping really hard. Over this. Batman, because this is my Batman movie when I was a kid. Um, I was born 92, this came out in 95. That came out when I was born. Nice. Like, yeah, this is, this was my first Batman movie, and then afterwards my dad showed me, uh, Batman 1989 Returns. And then Batman and Robin. We're not gonna talk about that. We're not gonna do a commentary on that one. I mean, one day maybe, but... Maybe, but... We wanna enjoy our yeah. Thanksgiving today. We wanna enjoy a Thanksgiving hangout. <laughs> right? Look at this not Wolverine guy. I love the music. I know. <laughs> eh, Batman almost let that man fall to his death. <laughs> I mean, a lot, this is connected to the last movie, so this Batman did kill people. Yeah, I mean, we'll wait till that happens. <laughs> <laughs> Some guard? No, I know. He's just having, he's going the fact that that guard looks like, um, uh, Oh, what's his name from Seinfeld? Oh, Newman. Newman, with the glasses. This is Newman's origin story. He started as a security guard <laughs> in Gotham City. 
And then became a disgruntled guy and said, we live in a society. Oh, if you guys don't know, that whole meme, we live in a society, actually came from Newman, not the Joker. Yeah. We live in a society, Always complaining. We don't just get villains who just have a crazy over-the-top plan anymore. We mostly just now get, here's a beam of light shooting off into the sky yeah. and everything. Yeah, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> a bank vault filled with acid! No, it's boiling acid! I mean, acid doesn't actually boil it on It doesn't itself. at all, but, you know, just throw two terrible things together, but... The fact that there is a light in that safe to begin with. Right. A red light. The fact that he had to announce it so the audience knew this is even more dangerous. Yeah. And I highly doubt with how thick the walls of that safe are, they wouldn't even hear Two Face. Right. Oh, those glasses. Oh, God. As someone with them, I know those are probably pretty pricey. Yep. That Mrs. Stanks, what? Not my Batman, not accurate at all. He wouldn't take a man's hearing aid. He wouldn't say thank you. Batman doesn't smile. You know, everybody, I'm gonna say it now. If I have to cosplay Batman, I would cosplay this suit. Yeah. I don't care. Nipples and all, you think? Yep, I don't care. Because this was my Batman. So, and also, mm -hmm. the fact that, like, a lot of the... the I've talked to some uh, Batman suit makers that do have the molds to make um, the, Kilmer. the Kilmer suit. Like, they have the nipple sculpted onto into the mold. And yeah. it's, it's actually a lot harder to remove those from the mold. Yeah. I mean, Once you have it made already. Yeah, that's the other thing. Some people think that you can just take it off. I'm no, like, no, it's you need to make the it, suit. And it's if you do alter the mold by sanding it off or anything like that, mm -hmm. that area. Yeah. Once you get the really the pull, obvious. yeah, it's gonna be obvious that it was like sanded down or something mm -hmm. with the rubber latex. So with that, I'm just gonna keep it the way it is. Yeah. Whatever. Next. You know? Yeah. It's funny, you know, like, made it seem like, man, you get nipples too, you're human, you know? <laughs> yeah. Oh, so speaking of of those design choices of the costume, you know how Batman and Robin had them? Yeah. But Batgirl didn't? Yeah. Yeah. I was little, I, what, what was I, six-year-old me wanted to see nips yeah. on Batgirl. It's a Batgirl nips, you know? But, you know that should have that. But nope, I didn't get that. I was a sad kid. Little boys. <laughs> This is the most wacky I've seen Tommy ever be. I think he hated every moment of it. Yeah. I think when he signed on to do Two-Face, he probably was thinking it was a more reserved, yeah. you know, calmer Two-Face. He probably saw some of the comics, and he's like, okay, this is what I'm going to be doing. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm not doing that. Crap. <laughs> oh, we're going to be wacky? Oh, dang. Yeah. Something's coming up that doesn't make sense to me, because... Mm. The way you drive a helicopter is different than a car. Yes. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. <laughs> They're doing drift, drift, drift. No. Look what he grabs. Look at here. Wait. He gets a steering wheel lock. <laughs> yeah, what yeah. kind of helicopter has a steering wheel? I know it's comics, but you're going to pull over in the sky. <laughs> uh, hold up. Uh, so, uh, someone wipe down that, uh, that, that bit of air. I'm sorry, I don't know how over the top he is. He, every moment is a butt-gusting laugh for him. Yeah, but it's for... And even his... Uh, it's got symbols, symbols, you know? We have, oh, no, I, not the Statue of Not Liberty. Yeah, the, sta the Gotham Liberty statue. I feel that's even in the comics, actually. They always kind of, like, mix the two towns together, like New York and L.A. Yeah, just to make it a whole new city. Mm-hmm. Hey. Bats can't Oh, play. do you see how the statue got scarred by Two-Face? Oh, clever. Symbolism. 
Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Look out. It's CGI town. No. You're going to get a light show from Amazing Spider-Man 2. <laughs> oh, God. It is basically, yeah. My hero didn't. My, my hero denied movies. me. It's also Cheetah from the new Wonder Woman, oh, remember? Oh, God. What is with making smart people obsessive? Right, like nerdy bookworm person, obsessive and like creepy. <laughs> oh, Jim. You know, I think he's a lot crazier than Cable Guy. He is. And more obsessive. And, you know, I remember there was this thing when I was a kid where people thought. Hey, you know, it's Alex Trebek in Gotham City. Holy shit, it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, rest in peace, Mr. Trebek. But yeah, this I'll actor take... playing like uh, I guess the VP, the CEO or something. like the no Bruce is a CEO, but I think like one of the uh, other higher up executives of Wayne Enterprises. Like he looks like Alex Trebek with the big huge mustache and the. I'll take, of... I'll take Batman's identity for four hundred, Alex. <laughs> So I remember when I was a kid, there was a there was a good amount of people that said Jim Carrey could play, pull off a good villain. If we add this and make it serious-ish, so there were people that were fan casting him for Carnage back in the day and all that. And, oh, especially after the movie set. Um, no, uh, what was the twenty-eight? Twenty-eight. Yeah, yeah that one. The number twenty-eight. I remember it was so weird fan see... casting as Carnage. It was on Uncle. It was so weird for yeah. to see like the name Jim Carrey as and, Carnage as Carnage and all that. But now I can almost see it. And then he did that movie Kick Ass and everything. Yeah. Which he then got mad at and everything. Yeah. I don't know why he got mad about it. It was a time. It, we were all going through. Uh, you know, I'd say like everyone was going through some mess, you know? <laughs> he invented VR. Oh my God. <laughs> Imagine what you can do with porn. Oh no! You should you should open with that. Do you remember? I forgot what anime convention it was. They had the VR thing. The VR oh my thing. god! And the like, guy is like grinding a pillow. Yeah, and everyone around him is like more or less embarrassed rather than like impressed and all that. Yeah, but it's like I'm just like. Was it at the hand second? Or was it no, it was Anime Expo. Oh no! I remember because they had it again the year I went and everything. Thankfully, no one was totally signing up and all that, but it's very awkward, you know. Yeah. Going on, looking at Val Kilmer, mm -hmm. he looks like a good Bruce Wayne. Right? They casted him very well. Like, he doesn't look he like... He has the chin. He has the chin, the expressions and everything. Like the sort of stoic, don't want to be here expression. Yeah. I mean, I remember growing up, reading the comics, like, when he's... When, ben, when Bruce Wayne is just everyday stuff, doing, mm -hmm. doing things that Wayne Enterprise, it's like he doesn't want to be there. Yeah. He's more focused because his mind is always on justice. You yeah, know, really? he's like he's waiting for that sun to go down. Aww. you know, again, if this was released, there'd be so many, so much fan of sad Edward and everything. Yeah, sad Nigma. Sad Nigma. Oh, I love this. It's so stupid. Lock. <laughs> he goes in the bathroom. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Like the fact that this little slide turbo rocket thing goes through the building of Wayne Enterprises, through the city, to the to back get end. to the bad kid. Doesn't he come out like fully dressed too? No, he's still, no, he's like riding that little rocket Yeah, but does he thing. come out like in the Batman outfit? No, like okay. look, watch here, he's still going to be in his own Okay, because I, I thought it was going to be a reference to the 66 member. Oh, or, like, like the, the, the pole? Yeah, no, like yeah, he's still in his tuxedo. Okay. The freaking poles was weird back in 66. Remember? Like, they slide down the pole in, in their normal outfits. And then how did they change? It was magic in the 60s. <laughs> they got they took acid <laughs> on going down the bat pole? Woo! Holy head games, Batman! I don't get the dunking on the music. Like that's the music is so epic. Mm-hmm. 
It's a booty call. Right? A bat call. A bat booty. <laughs> Look, she's wearing a nightie. This was meant for the horny. Yeah. Like, I know they said, oh, it's mostly for kids and all that. And I'm like, uh, uh this she's is pretty. This psychiatrist just called him for a booty call right? on the roof. And that's how Aquaman was born. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Aquaman's the son of Batman, then. Oh. Oh. You know someone probably made that a dumb fan fiction out there. Yeah. Yeah, he went with the whole casting of Nicole Kidman as uh, <laughs> and Lana, and then this was like her secret origin. She was in Gotham City. <laughs> Not in California, because it's freaking right? like, summer all year, all year round. Right, you get a barbecue at Christmas. How would you know, Bruce? Right. How would you know it's left to take off on a fire <laughs> Right. That was my laptop. Please ignore it. You know what though? This group, this Batman is also technically telling jokes. If you think about, he's like, I don't blend into the family picnic. I'm like, oh my god, I forgot. Batman does have a sense of humor. He you know? It's like it's more like just a quip. It's a quip, yeah, but at least it's it's more it's than dry. It's dry. It's very dry. But like. It's more than we've gotten for years. Like even Kevin Conroy added some jokes and everything. Yeah. Sometimes. Remember, like when they, he's like jumping out of the plane, it's like I'm gonna need backup because you know I can't fly. <laughs> because yeah. he's falling. I'm like that's funny. You know. Mm-hmm. Oh, Jim Gordon. He his jammy jams. He saw this. He saw this and was like, oh my god, <laughs> room for one more. I need to head back to the office. <laughs> no, but he's just seeing this woman in a nightgown and a I know. And he's like. Oh, I really gotta stop taking that PCP. <laughs> Room for one more, though? <laughs> Just play pop this in my Oh, there I go. Oh, oh there, there I go. Oh, I love the Batmobile. Remember when. Remember the Batmobile's getting a movie? <laughs> Don't remind me. <laughs> Don't. I'm in it. <laughs> Why are you here after hours, Nigma? Everyone left. Right? This isn't overtime. I know, right? You know Robin Williams is apparently supposed to play him? Yeah. I could have seen it. Have you seen, um, shameless plug, Nostalgia Critic, um, Channel Awesome? They, yeah. They, they did, did like a... This version of it, yeah. Yeah, and it was Robin Williams as Riddler, mm-hmm. and they, they still kept um, Billy D. Williams as Two-Face. Which would have been cool. Yeah, to see him come back like that. Right. And instead of just the oh, Lego movie. Knowing how bad that hurts getting a mustache oh, haircut. God. They made it seem silly. Like, so many things they make seem silly are actually really painful. Yeah. <laughs> like a paper cut? That shit hurt. Uh, <laughs> which one, man? <laughs> I love how he sort of had a fake lips. Like, which one, dip? It's kind of going to VR. <laughs> yeah, he literally invented VR. Without the goggles. Mm-hmm. Which now we have. Like 3D, though. Like 3D VR. Mm-hmm. Which we have sometimes now. <laughs> I think it was never time. This so me to laugh. God, it's like the mask, but if he stayed human. Like, it's funny, back in 92, all this would seem weird. Now I'm like, no, we have stuff like this, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I, I think this is improv. No, oh, 90% of Jim Carrey's movies, especially comedies, are him just going nuts. Yeah. <laughs> like, honestly, that's not a bad performance for Riddler. Yeah. Especially back in the day when most people do it as a very campy character. Yeah. Notice how with this movie he's a bit over. He's like Riddler's over the top. Yeah. But with the animated series, they toned him down. Yeah. Probably because they didn't want to like be associated with Joker. Yeah. Because Mark Hamill's already doing over. Yeah. Because like I remember for a while, even if you still go on the wiki page, you look up Riddler, they're like related characters, Joker. Yeah. Like a lot of people just kind of confuse the two's like motives of like oh funny games and all that. Yeah. I get it, but no. (laughs) One's a like, you know, like, in the Arkham ones, he's, like, 
he certainly has this voice going on, but his whole thing is intellect and like mind games. Essentially, it's Saw. Which the new movie looks like. Mm-hmm. New movie, the Riddler looks messed up. Why does he have a gimp mask? Right? I was going to ask that. It looks like a, at first I thought it's it was a, a gimp mask. It's a, it's a straight up gimp mask. I'm like, With goggles. what mood are we going for in this movie, you know? That is actually a bad thing. <laughs> like, yeah, like, like, dude, just look at your your notes, and it's like you're actually making brain manipulation. That's super illegal. That's pretty messed up. It man. may have seemed like a good idea on paper. On paper. Oof. Maybe you shouldn't have been saying that while you were tied up. You know. Yeah. It's, a, it's kind of bad. Kind of bad there. It's so funny to think that in these very campy movies, oh right, people will straight up die in these. Ooh, and, just the tension on your neck. And the freaking glass in the face. Yeah. <laughs> like again, if this was made now, that the scene would be much bloodier, you know? Yeah. Jim Jim Minday. I think that was improv. Yeah. Funny. Oh yeah, totally. Back to the script. <laughs> right back to script. Back to script. Back to script. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Harvey, in the last movie, you were black. <laughs> like, I know it's supposed to be connected and all, you but know? It, this makes it not. Mm-hmm. Oh, Michael Go. Oh, the dedicated butler. He was in like all four of the originals. Mm-hmm. Like. To this day, I still kind of hear his voice when I read Albert's playing. Right. Oh, yeah. But then again, the recent comics, <laughs> I don't really see. But uh, then again, much. Alfred's dead. Yeah. They killed Alfred in um, the end of Tom King's BS writing. I was going to say, I think in that whole series, that whole run wasn't too great. And everything. Hey, remember when Batman and Catwoman didn't get married? <laughs> right. All that like... set up and making fans happy that Bruce is finally going to start a new chapter in his life. And that there's that ship is finally sailing other than you. And then, oh, nope, she leaves him. <laughs> deserted on the altar, basically. Nobody like that. <laughs> Thanks, Tom King, you prick. <laughs> like, nobody like that decision at all. Mm-hmm. Pretty good, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That was a shit. <laughs> wow, just one look at the note and yep, it's like case closed. Let's not look at the writing or anything, but yep, yeah, he did it. No anyway. wonder the police need Batman's help in this universe. <laughs> right. Gordon's like, oh. Back to the oh, dude, if, if YouTube existed mm-hmm. back in the day, this woman he's talking to, I would have been, like, making theory videos, like, that's Amanda Waller, guys. <laughs> oh, my God. You know how many, like, theories would exist from just this movie alone of, like, who is what and everything, Yeah. You know? <laughs> like, in, <laughs> God, that was weird. In, like, the... No, oh, actually, with Janet, it creeped me out as a kid. <laughs> Same. Like, there's the whole, you know, Dick's brother in this movie. Someone make a theory. Oh, that's actually Jason and everything. <laughs> you know someone would, right? Someone would. So you're like, oh, it, it's Tim because Tim was, uh, he was at the circus. So in this canon. <laughs> he dies. He dies. And now he's Red Hood. Bop, bop. Uh, I think this this came out years before they were even considering a Red Hood and everything. Yeah. 
Red Dead Red wasn't even DC's mind yet. Most of the Robin characters weren't totally even respected yet and everything. Not yeah. like because there has been a resurgence of the characters and everything, and like people really like them. Know, at this time period of like comic movies, I think they would have made Huntress. Yeah. Yeah, would have because she was like very prominent in Batman comics mm-hmm. at the time. She was a pretty prominent character. Yeah. This was, this movie came out, I think, during the No Man's Land arc. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I love how the Riddler suit just exists. Yeah, I was gonna say it just kind of happens to be around and everything. Yeah. See, look, he's making these notes. Mm-hmm. He's leaving his fingerprints. Yeah, there's a lie. He's, he's thinking he wear gloves or something. Batman like would have figured out this. Like, hey, let's let's dust this note for fingerprints. Yep, totally suicide. Hang on, bye. There's Jonah in the Remember when Moving Manor looked like a scary place to be? Right. I was gonna say. I'm- I remember in Dark Knight, I don't think we saw much of Wayne Manor. Only it begins. Only it begins, and then like the rest of the movie of Dark Knight, like it's just a building. It, no, because I remember Ray Shaw Gould burned the house down. Oh, yeah. So he was like living in the city now. And then Dark Knight Rises was when the place was rebuilt. Mm-hmm. This building, actually in New York. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You think people who go to New York Comic Con would go like the go here and all that stuff? No, or... this one is more like towards like uh, Wall Street. Oh, or okay. Like that. Yeah, never mind. That's... I don't want to be watching. This is legit a set, though, the interior. Oh, yeah. I want to say, like, I would want to be walking around like certain areas in the costume. Like, sorry, I'm just here too close. Yeah. It's like too many Adam Pasadena sometimes. <laughs> Which, shout out to Adam Pasadena. That looks like fun. Yeah. I'm not going though. I can't. I had, I had to cancel my plans because mm-hmm. something came up. <laughs> he bars the door. And she's just taking a massive shit. <laughs> no, just doing whatever a normal therapist does. Boxing in the middle of the day. <laughs> I like how you actually fix it up. Well, I mean, the words aren't actually. No, but like I'm saying, as a as a character detail, like normally, like I can like directorize, be like, yeah, whatever, just move on with the scene. But no, it's it shows that he's as Bruce trying to be considerate. Oh, right, right. Yeah, right. I mean, I don't ship them entirely. She doesn't even show up for the look. I think she was just made for this movie. Yeah, like, her oh. character, Chase Meridian, does not mm-hmm. exist in the comics. Just like Rachel does. Does not exist in the comics. The... Rachel! Well, at least... The, at least she didn't show up randomly in the comics like Felicity did. Mm-hmm. This random OC for the show is now in the comics. <laughs> Felicity and Friends, I love that show. Remember how like 90% of it was just love triangles of is she gonna get with Ollie? Love is she... Oh, that yeah. sounds a lot like Amazing Spider-Man too. Yeah. Oh god. Yeah. Anyways, Batman Forever. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I just realized also a lot of times like, you know, people dump on the fact that people make OCs for canon stuff and everything, because I'm guilty. You're guilty of it. I, you know I'm what? So guilty. You know what? I had no room to talk with the whole that witch character I draw hanging out with horror characters. You know, mm-hmm. but what is what is a character made for a movie if not a director's OC? Yeah, think about it. Mm-hmm. It's literally the director being like, "Okay, I know there's all this established canon and established oh, characters." She said, Rorschach. <laughs> oh, is Watchmen in this? <laughs> Doomsday Clock confirmed. <laughs> Just, I'll whisper no. No watcher is not in this. Alan Moore won't let it. <laughs> Alan Moore hates everything. <laughs> Alan Moore is no fun. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't know, when a director makes this a character for something, I'm like, that's literally just a professional version of, oh, this is my original character, my OC, and they're in love with Batman, you know? <laughs> Like, pitch this now as a kid writing something. I wrote this Batman script, and the girl, who's totally not me, is in love with Batman, and he can't love her. <laughs> there. Yeah. 
<laughs> Yikes, hard lemonade. Just fuck already. <laughs> Oh, your favorite scene's coming up, Johnny. Boy, oh boy, I sure love the Gotham Charity Circus in the Hippodrome. With the golden guys. <laughs> okay, there's some decisions that are being made. Why are made. these drummers so buff? Because Joel was a man who, like, he was a JoJo fan, for one. <laughs> I'm not even kidding you, Joel Schumacher. Joel Schumacher is, a, is the next Joe star. <laughs> JoJo Schumacher? <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Where can be doctors? Oh, oh. <laughs> just, just like, like the rat reporters is a piece of shit. And <laughs> he looks like a dip, right? Like she says that too, like a woman doctor. <laughs> that looks like Tim Burton. Oh god, the flying grace here we go. Your favorite. You know, I will admit, I love the throwback to the, the classic suit with the... I, I, the you know, with the collar like that? That is legit Tim Drake's costume. Yeah. Honestly, for years they've been swiping from Tim Drake's little, like, closet and never going credit. Remember in Under the Red Hood? Jason's essentially wearing Tim Drake's suit. Oh, yeah. Wow, look at that boy of 28. <laughs> This 25-year-old is gonna be adopted by a, by another man who's probably a, not <laughs> that older than him. Not much older than him, but <laughs> the fact that Dick Grayson in this movie can drive a, a motorcycle and a car mm -hmm. that totally so means he's a, able to be adopted. Totally. I like was looking at him like, you know what? Oh, you know what detectives go needed? Guy who can do some flips. <laughs> Gordon's just having the time of his life. Look at him. Look at Gordon. Oh, she's met someone. Oh. I know how that feels. Um, look at Gordon. He's like, oh. Oh. It's like, man, I'm so glad I get to be away from my house with my crazy psycho son who's probably six at this uh, point. I hear Gordon's going like, I bet nothing wrong is going to happen tonight. Oh, those are fine races. I don't know what they're up to. The youngest, he looks old as hell. Right? He looks like he's 30. The hair doesn't He's polka dot man! <laughs> you know people would have done that. Oh, look, polka dot man's here. I know. He was at the circus. Oh, oh, it's a circus. Uh, that uh, Joker is a clown. Look at the clowns. One of them is a Joker. One of them's got to be Harley. One of the clowns has to be Harley. This poor ringmaster, though, man. <laughs> he's just doing his job. He just gets wrecked. <laughs> they didn't have to gone. bop him in the head. But yeah, I do like that it's a mix of Tim's and, like, the classic Burt Ward. Yeah. Like, this is literally the 90s Tim Drake Robin mm -hmm. outfit. And it gets an upgrade by the end of the movie, of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the cut, cut. I know for a fact, though, this circus looks better than anything that Titans did with Robin's origin. <laughs> I don't know, even Robin's origin, they didn't even make it like he's happy there. He's still, I gotta do flips. I'm the flying grace. And I'm like, God damn it, kid. Bust a smile, you know? You're not Jason Todd, you're Tim Drake. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're Dick Grayson. Tim is doing pretty good on the show. They've introduced Tim? Yeah. Huh. I love how there's a shock of him turning around. I but know. But the audience is there. The audience that already saw his face must have been like, oh, let's, uh, let's be quiet until he turns around. Yeah. Oh. You know? Look at Deathstrokes. <laughs> Honestly, the fact that Two Face has henchmen that are themed outfits. Yeah. He has a designer on his crew. Right? Like. Yeah, the Joker is always in clowns and all that, but Two Face had like someone so up outfits and like you know freaking you know, looks and all. Oh, that. Some speaking of, of that, like mm. um, <laughs> some random guys. Oh no, it's the mayor. Oh, okay.
Damn, Riddler. Jeez. Yeah. Wasn't that? <laughs> he just said it on TV. It wasn't that funny. <laughs> yeah, it really wasn't that funny. <laughs> that two minutes. Because <laughs> he lives it's in a world of duality. Right? It's like if he, you know, robbed, he, he robbed all the, like, $2 bills from, on February 2nd. Okay, so Bruce screamed, I'm Batman. Yeah. The reporter next to him would have heard him. So much behind him. Chase would have heard him. The, Gordon would have heard him. The people behind him would be like, hey, did you guys not hear that? Mm -hmm. oh. Imagine the poor guy, I'm not a wrong, wrong performer. <laughs> Bruce grabbed the wrong guy. <laughs> this is just their Halloween decor. I know it's actually in canon also, okay, this does make code to the canon of, like, Two-Face being really dickish to Robin and everything. Yeah. Because, like, that's a thing in there. Like, he is a, he is more of Robin's bad guy than full-on Batman's and everything. Harvey, put two and two together. Ah. Uh, oh, I didn't realize that. <laughs> but, yeah, like, like... You just saw a man swing down on a rope. Who else does that in this city? Right? Batman, come on. I bet you it's this bald kid. <laughs> hey, guys, guess what? Tommy Lee Jones is Two-Face. Two-Face is holding a Tommy gun. Da, da, da. He's holding a him gun. <laughs> <laughs> just add insult to injury. You already flipped me. You don't want to break my. Oh rib. man, Mr. Grayson's death. Mr. Grayson gets it bad. Oh right, like ooh. he didn't just fall on the thing. He fell on the handle of the door of that trap door thing. Right, that like probably ripped through the poor guy. Yeah, and. He's and <laughs> Alchemist, what the fuck is this? Alchemist gets hit by the explosion. Just swimming around. Amber Heard gets hit by the explosion. Alchemist throws Ocean Master into it. Oh. <laughs> it is funny that they threw in Dick's brother in this, and they're like, I don't remember him having one. Mm -mm. <laughs> no, not my. Brother, guy, guy Gardner, just throwing all the lore. Throwing all the 90s people. Right? Oh no. Kyle Rayner. <laughs> I'm dying to some taller than that. <laughs> See, he's riding a motorcycle. He's just following the, like, look at you. He's like, I guess I'll just follow this rich guy back to his house. Oh, that's such a 90s thing. Tuck in your polo shirt. Right. Like, you know those, like, those uniform-type shirts? Mm -hmm. He doesn't anyone now. Except, you know, he should be getting a job. Or going to college. He's goddamn 27 or whatever. Oh, he's got a bird. That looks more like a cardinal than a robin. Right? I remember they bring that up later. Where, like, it's a robin. Like, is it really? That's a cardinal. It's red. It's a phoenix. It's on fire. Like, if he was staying for a little bit, yeah, I get it. But I the fact that it's like, oh, he has no one left. Let's have him stay with you. I would have loved it if he asked to crash, you know? Yeah, it's like, hey, I have nowhere else to go. Yeah, you're a friend of my father or something, you know? Yeah, you're like, you're, or like you sponsored the circus for that night. Yeah, not, I'm going to follow you, you know? Yeah. Why is this weird child following me? This very stretched out child. Hey, Metropolis. Metropolis, the better city where if you were there, it probably wouldn't have happened. Right, if big old Superman was swooped in, just like, all right, done. Wait, so who would attack the circus then if it's in Metropolis? Who would Lobo. you think? <laughs> Lobo's a dick and I'm already... Yeah, I could see Lobo. Oh, no, 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 I could see Metallo. Metall oh, yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah. I want money. <laughs> Don't look at him 
like that. Really? He was just like, that was a genuine offer. Yeah. He's like, dude, dude you want to offer like, to fill me with a gas? I can pay for gas. I don't have a job. Like, dude, it's free gas. Right? Even back then, it was a good idea. Yeah, even though it was like dirt cheap compared to now. Right. Five thousand gallons. You know, see. Him having a lot of motorcycle knowledge seems more like a Jason Todd thing. Yeah. Uh, okay, so the thing was that, that they did was they kind of combined the... the I, I always hate when they do that. I'm going to just stick to one. Where they're not all the same boy, you know? But yeah, him with the... the comics, they all look alike. <laughs> Black but, hair, blue eyes. I was going to say, they have, thankfully they have changed up their designs and all that, but... Yeah, like the leather jacket, the motorcycle knowledge, the kind of boot bad attitude... That's totally Jason. Jason's but, you know, oh, it's Dick Grayson, so that's... <laughs> Dogs! Ace the Bad Hound's in this, then! So who's the other one? Um, that he said dogs, plural. Uh... <laughs> crypto? <I don't> <laughs> he's, he's dog sitting crypto. <laughs> Zoom. Oh. Martha. Oh. <laughs> Why did you say that name? Why did you look at that picture? <laughs> I have a mom too. Why do you say you're a mom? Hey, remember back then when it was Joker that killed his parents? That's lazy writing. <laughs> They were dancing with the devil in the pants. You know how many people believe that one to actually be the real origin and everything? Yeah. There's still people today that think, oh yeah, it's because the Joker killed his parents. I'm like, no. No, it's Joe Chill. Some but random say, mook. But then you say that and you're like, oh, Joe. Like, Joker. Joe Chill, Joker. And then now people are like, oh, did you not watch Joker? It's that guy that said you get what you deserve. Right? Who was taking the Joker? <sighs> You know there's a sequel to that coming out? Like, why? <laughs> Thank you! Holy why? Shit. Like, I have friends who are like, yeah, that's gonna be interesting. I'm like, I mean... Honestly, no. like, going back to this movie, this scene... Mm -hmm. It's so good. Yeah. It's oh like, it shows, like, the funeral, and, like, uh... Very stylized. Yeah, very... very this is very Tim. This is very Tim Burton, yeah. even though he had pretty much mm -hmm. nothing to do but with it. But this harkens to his style. Yeah. Which I like. And like I said, it's very... Honestly, this book, how they zoom in on it, makes it seem so important. But yeah. the fact that like there's it's... nothing out of it. Yeah, it makes you think it's going to be something big. Like, oh, is it the, the Book of Shadows or something? Or like, names or anything? Nope. You've been standing there for like an hour, Master Bruce. The past three hours, the sun's gone down already. It was kind of funny at first. I, I timed you. <laughs> I used to put, I put little hats on you. You didn't notice them. Technically, you kind of did, Bruce. Because if you didn't do anything... Really shouldn't have shouted on Batman. Maybe you should have... Uh... But the thing is, no one heard him. Maybe we should have had a better game plan for like, oh right, our town is full of super villains. Damn, his eyeliner is like crazy high. Yeah, also calling him Al is more of a Jason thing. Yeah, but then like, um, you know. He may seem kind of douchey, but it's like, he's actually kind of polite to Alfred. Yeah, oh yeah. You can't not be nice to Alfred. He's you mean Alfred. not be mean? You can't yeah, be mean to Alfred. You can't be mean to Alfred. You mean? He's not, he's not to Alfred. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, look, honestly, how foresight I flew in like a robin. I'm like, <laughs> At least it's not as bad as, you should use a real name, Robin. Is it? Wow, it's such a nice name. Robin. Oh my god. <laughs> Never gonna get over that. The fact that I <laughs> thought about maybe I should cost like fucking Dark Knight Robin. No one's gonna know who you are. Hey, no, you're doing a cop. <laughs> no. Uh, 
That was nice. That was a really good line. That was a nice line. line. The broken wings thing, I know, is a big thing in the Robin superhero community. <laughs> <lot>. <laughs> the cartoons! <laughs> yeah, like, people, like, you know, because remember the fan film that we were going to do? It was called oh, Broken yeah, yeah. It was called Broken Bird and everything. Or Broken Wings. I think all. it was Broken Wings. I don't yeah. remember anymore. I think I lost the script. <laughs> I'm not looking like Bane. I was gonna say, there's a fear. <laughs> okay, okay, so this part, so it's like they knew where he was gonna drive to, mm -hmm. and then he's going super stuff. Oh, very big considerate of road. I don't want to hit this old lady with a, oh, it's two face. Oh, how are you gonna get it? <laughs> I didn't kill those guys, the rocket did. Yeah. <laughs> two face did it. He sees her. You know, also again with the theories, they'd be like, "Oh no, you see the those masks look like Bane and Deathstroke." Ah, uh, really? Okay. Hold up. I gotta see. Why didn't you reload the rocket launcher? Why didn't you just reload it? <laughs> you think he would have brought two? I love how ridiculous the Batmobile looks. Right? No, I think he's on the next movie. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Remember that? The more, at least he looked more comic accurate. He looked way more comic accurate. Right? And the guy that... Uh, he looked accurate, the portrayal was bad, but at least the guy... The mask was, cool. <laughs> the mask was actually accurate. Mm -hmm. Heck, the fact that Batman and Robin's version of Bane, the costume, was more comic accurate than <laughs> Dark Knight Rises and on Gotham. Think about that, people. Think about it. Or, uh, <laughs> it's funny because no, Bane, you were born in a sleazy prison in the middle of nowhere, somewhere in the Middle East or something. And like, well, if you know what Christopher Nolan, if you look at the negative face, it looks like the eyes of the mask. Okay, all the people in those apartments are have... fucking dead. Yeah, they're dead. I didn't kill the people in those apartments. The fire did. <laughs> Why are they all dead? 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 Why are they can I wear this? Can I wear that? I'm coming up with the OC's names. Right? God, I know that struggle, though. <laughs> yep. Oh, the gamester. What, what's the name of that one other? Captain Kills on Force. Captain Kills on Force. It's always funny as Superboy. This is when you. <laughs> this is me kind of Googling, hey. Hey, hey, has, hey, Google, has DC used this name for a character yet? <laughs> that is my constant of making characters. See, Riddler, also, your boss is right there. You don't need to really do much. Just take it off of the mannequin. Yeah, that's all he did. Just pray it fits you. Oh, let's, let's not look at this statue that just looks Clearly like Clearly split. Hard he might be hiding it. Nah. Nah. That was too obvious. He'll never be there. <laughs> oh, if I know. It's, oh my god, Drew Barrymore! Holy shit, it's Drew Barrymore! And the other one's a. A, a, a dom? A lady? Like, I'm trying to remember who she is. Yeah, that's straight up Blue Drew Barrymore. It took me, like, until, like, today. I remember it's Emma Frost. <laughs> DC Marvel crossover! She straight up looks like Emma Frost with all the lace lingerie. <laughs> Hi, Ace. Donkey meat? <laughs> Dog's like, no getting horny to this, Two Face. <laughs> but he had two dicks. <laughs> Ew. See, okay, I'm not gonna lie. This, I wish this they did the whole. So good. 
good that his was costume. as accurate as hell. They should have just had him stay in that costume instead of the frog suit. No, then, which is underneath. Yeah, it's, it's underneath it, but the fact that it's like kept the the jacket. Yeah, and the hat. And the mask. Mm -hmm. Well, he had the mask. But yeah. isn't it like a weird, like, glasses thing on? No, at the end of the movie. Yeah, that's what I mean. Maybe they don't do that. Mm -hmm. Then again, remember how we said it was kind of like to sell toys? Yeah. That's why there's a lot of costume changes. Yeah, but still, like, how the Riddler costume was in this scene, it's perfect. Oh, yeah. This, appreciate this, you know? I want that cane, no lie. I'll take this over the freaking Gimp mask. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Like, I know Riddler's mask went from mask to glasses all the time, mm -hmm. but the Gimp mask is such a weird... Choice. Yeah. Post. And look, he's wearing eye makeup. Yep. That's how the professionals do. What kind of gun is that? Look at the gun. Let's see. Oh, that's clearly a toy. Yeah, that is so a toy. That's literally one of those... Yeah, you can get them for like 99 cents. Yeah, and it makes noises and everything. No, that's a that's a spare gun cop from Ben and Black. <laughs> <laughs> he just brought it on set with him. And I have this one around. I guess my character could use it. You wanna play it again? I think mean, Riddler's jokes are also really good. Yeah. Heavy metal meets House of Gardens. That's literally my room. <laughs> no bar. Apparently Ace is not a fan of the Riddler here. If you can hear him growling. <laughs> Don't bark at you, Barrymore. She's hot in this scene. <laughs> I mean, I'd be barking at you, Barrymore, too. For a different reason. Woof, yeah, woof. a different reason. <laughs> It's like that bark for me simp meme and everything. Yeah. Did you did you follow that boy? He's just trying to. I hey. did a thing on TikTok, uh, I think last year. Um, you doing this thing? Yeah, this specific part. Were you the were you Riddler? No, I was Spider Man, and the caption was, um, "If Tom Holland's Spider Man met John Brunthal's Punisher." Mm. And I think Eduardo <laughs> made a duet as yeah, the Punisher. Absolutely. Tom and Jerry and Looney Tunes because they own it. This is great. It's like, oh, we own the rights to this. So we don't need to use it. anything else. <laughs> and I get it up two minds. <laughs> Split decision. Is your brain on the But calm now. <laughs> I like, like if you look closely, you can see the line under there where the mass move. Yeah. Oh, and notice how he has like that little red line yeah. beneath uh, the mask. Yeah, that was pointing at and everything. That's probably like just excess from the spray for his hair. Yeah, I think just like, oh, I guess, I guess I'll use it and everything. I, I do love how 90s as hell Riddler looks. I know, with that hair. The hair, yeah. If his hair was white, he looked like Billy Idol. I was gonna say, he looks like the leader of a ska punk band and everything. Yeah. You know what? No, I remember Dark Knight kind of did the dime, the, the coin thing and all that. But it was only towards the end. It was only towards the end, and we're like... There wasn't like that whole thing of he needs it, you know, kind of thing. Huh. Remember when Super Villains robbed jewelry stores? Right, for some reason. You know? Like, where are you going to turn it into, you know? Yeah. Like, I get Catwoman, you know? Secret identity wise, she just sells it and everything. Yeah. Extreme laundry. Laundry to the extreme, man. Look, he's so cool doing his laundry. He's doing karate moves. All... <laughs> he's going to bring out all the water. Yeah. The way of the detergent. He doesn't finish like, mopping the floor. Right? I like how Alfred doesn't even look impressed. Like, little oh, shit, I got to clean that up. Oh. Oh, I also had to do a punch, that thing. <laughs> You gotta punch a guy. See everybody, this is what 
comic book movies need nowadays. They need scenes like this. I, I kind of miss villains being wacky, you know? Yeah. You know? <laughs> I like how the cops are kind of just taking it. Like, well, not much we can do. You Don't know, the fact that, like, in the five-year time jump from Infinity War to Endgame, I bet you the Marvel Cinematic Universe was filled with crazies like this. Right? It's like, hey, half the Avengers are gone. Let's... Time to go nuts, so uh, let's get all the weirdos we can. Here's a paste pot Pete. Here's, a... <laughs> Here's the frog and the walrus. Hey, it's, um, what's this? It's Simi Lou. No, um, who's the reporter guy in Batman comics? Oh. The one that turns into uh, Creeper. Yeah, oh, it's the Creeper. <laughs> yeah. Jack Ryder. Right, yeah, that's the one. Because, like, he sort of looked Asian in the animated series. Oh, yeah. He was supposed to be. Okay. But in Arkham games, they white, made him white. Not blame. Yeah. yeah well, although, he's even a character that's not that prevalent. I'm like, oh, I'll blame. I want to leave. But he's, oh, God, he's yellow, though. That's weird. Now that I think about it. Oh, <laughs> oh never mind. Like Asian character yellow. yellow after his acid Ooh. dip. And his Ooh, that's a little fucked up. <laughs> Oof. Wow, Edward, like, you left Wayne Enterprise and made your own company with its own factory out of nowhere. Where and did this money come from? And it's all green themed, just like the current green themed villain that's, that's been seen. robbing our jewelry stores. Huh. Weird. Okay, his hair here looks like his character in Bruce Almighty. It does, actually. Hey, everyone's going to buy stuff just like today on Black Friday. Right? <laughs> Look at the dog! What are those youths? I would be questioning everything if I was a family member in Gotham City. It's like, hey guys, what you doing? Everything? Uh, why are there green lasers coming out of your head? Right? Like, no one's suspicious of the bright green lasers. Not even the homeless people in Gotham City are probably like, what's going on today? <laughs> Oh, we'll see if I'm probably too jaded right now. Like, ah, fuck it. Like, I don't care anymore. Whatever. This evil machine, and no one questions it. Where did the funding come from? LexCorp? <laughs> it's like, no, don't worry. Those rays are uh, happiness rays. Those are friendly. Zero uh, emission. <laughs> zero emission friendliness rays. Honestly, though, this thing about getting everybody's knowledge, that would really mess you up. But also, it's an interesting character motivation other than just take over the world, you know? Yeah. I do miss when villains are memorable. Yeah. Remember when Disney also used to put out good villains? Oh, yeah. There has not been a Disney villain in a long time. The last one was for Princess and the Frog. Yeah. Yeah. Everything else has just been... It's like it has to subvert... Um, the expectations. expectations. Like... Hey, remember Hans from Frozen, how great he was? No more twist villains! I know. Oh, shit. That was just lucky, though. He got a perfect slide. Right into the back cave. Lucky, lucky. And none of his bones are broken right. after he... falling. Falling from the stairs onto more stairs and tumbling down. And those are rock-made stairs. Right, not... like, how is his head okay? How is anything okay? Theory, this whole thing is now a hallucination by dick on the floor and everything. Yeah, see, here's the Tim Drake thing and all that, where it's like, oh, he discovered Batman's identity. Confirmed, Alfred's Batman. <laughs> That's right, Dick. I'm Dark Knight Returns, Batman. I'm old. <laughs> it's, it's been a while. I fought Superman in the 80s over some political bull. <laughs> I had Carrie Kelly. Remember Carrie Kelly? Cricket, cricket. <laughs> oh. Poor Kerry Kelly. Not gonna lie, that's a nice apartment. Mm -hmm. There's a Buddha in the background for some reason, but okay. She's like, I'm very spiritual about Buddha. <laughs> that's a panty dropper of a line. <laughs> right? She, she looks at it as a kid. Wow. I so really want to get off the thought of you being a kid. In a dark alley with your dead parents' bodies on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> One way to get me wet, you're uh, venting. Cool. Well, you should see a therapist for that, Bruce. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Right. <laughs> you know, everything she's doing, you can see highly unprofessional.
ini sudah benar What a freak. Where did she get that still image of Batman standing <laughs> it from? That looks like from the shot, like from the studio shoot. Yeah, right? like the costume test. Yeah. The screen test, like me. She just got like, oh, there's these guys at Cosplay. I asked them to pose for me in front of something. Alright, bye. She's the one sending him notes. She's the Riddler, confirmed. <laughs> Riddler was a girl this whole time. Edward has just a just giant a, red hair. He's just a proxy. Middleman. <laughs> his whole his whole plan has nothing to do with everything that's going on. I'm the one that the re- <laughs> he just stabs him right there. Oh. I killed your parents. <laughs> Even though we're the same age. <laughs> I'm Martha. <laughs> just like throws everything at him. <laughs> they get even closer. <laughs> Like his lips are in her nose and all that. Stop telling everyone your secret identity. That's like his go-to panty drop for life. I'm Batman. (laughs) Oh, I mean, can you blame him? He's Batman. Right, he's Batman, but it's like his go-to line every time is just, Do you want to know secret identity? Do you want to know secrets? Pager blips. (laughs) That's not a pager, that's a smartwatch. Pager flips. Yo, Bats, I got the hookup, man. He had the smartwatch before anybody. <laughs> Batman picks up the thing. Sort of lady. Go, go, Bat Rangers. <laughs> you know that's probably a thing that someone drew. There actually is a Bat Ranger. Uh, <laughs> in uh, Power Rangers Jungle Fury. Oh, no. As one of, like, the Master Rangers. What do you think is that recent crossover that Power Rangers and Batman had? Or the Power Rangers DC had? Oh, Justice League. That was a good comic. That was surprisingly good. Holy shit, it'll be awesome. Oh, God. I hate, as much as I love this battle, but I hate the fact the wing splits in two. That does look, okay, I will admit, that does look way more silly. A blonde in trouble in Gotham, it's Stephanie Brown. <laughs> is Stephanie Brown? <laughs> oh, no, she's in the middle of a gang war. Oh, shit. Isn't that how she died? Yes. Oh, oh no. Oh, she's got a mask on him, and it's red. And he's got a skull paint, and there's red lighting. That's a, that's a black mask. Oh god, I hate this oh, line. God, this I, I hate cool. this line. That's one of the. Let it play. Let it play. No, 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 leave it alone. Leave it alone. I don't want to get copyrighted. You have to get girls. I'm totally a child. Oh. You want My OC to- is stirring <laughs> in his non existent grave. <laughs> they could have said bat kid, bat baby. That's something, you know? Bat brat. Bat. That works so much better. They, they call Robin's that, you know? I know Poison Ivy says that a lot in the Ark of Games and all that. With the side stuff. What is with this neon game? Uh. Oh, look, it's Black Mask. <laughs> who the hell are you? <laughs> like, you should ask like, who the hell are you? Who are, are you? you? <laughs> who are you? Are you guys canon? <laughs> Who's this Darth Maul looking dude? <laughs> and why are these glow sticks so painful? Oh look! Dude? One of them spinning a stick? Oh, that's Tim. That's how Tim learns his, uh, the, the bow staff. Oh god. Also, okay. I love that they always make thugs and like random hoods really, really good at martial arts. Like, yeah! Like, like really? They can spin these staffs like professionals? They're not just like swinging them randomly? Hey, remember the Michael Keaton movie, um, the alley fight? There was that random dude with a ninja sword? Yeah! Where did Joker get that guy? Where did Joker get, get that guy? Like, I can see Penguin Circus weirdos and yeah. all that. But also, they get these weird skull people. Stephanie right. Brown, don't kiss him. He's older than you. He's like 30. Who the heck? It's so weird. I'm like, who are these gangsters? And they never come back. You think yeah. That, you think Not Rid- even Batman and Robin, they come back. You'd think Riddler would have been like, yeah, let's, let's use these guys. But also, stylistically, there were some choice choices made with their look. I'm okay. Is it because it's a Halloween thing? Oh, are these Scarecrow's goons? 
Oh yeah, with the skulls, I can see that. Yeah, see, I can see these. <laughs> oh, remember in the Batman Triumphant thing that Jeff Goldblum was gonna be Jonathan Crane? Oh Scarecrow? god, yeah. You know what? I could have, I could have seen it and everything. Yeah. Hey, remember in Arkham Knight? Oh my God! Don't get that sign! You don't get to the sign! You don't get to the sign! The baby looks like Christopher Nolan. Yeah, we can finally bring that up. Cool. So yeah, it's kind of interesting that the Arkham version looks exactly like the Chris O'Donnell one. And that's Tim. And that's Tim. And then they made Dick Grayson the typical anime boy as how Dick Grayson should look like. Yeah, like for some reason Tim is just. Freaking jacked and everything. He looks more jacked than Red Hood did in the freaking audience. He also looks 40, you know? <laughs> he's not even just a bald. It's like they they overly detail so many wrinkles on his face that he looks geriatric and in all the village are like, oh, you just in a party with juice boxes, kid. And I'm like, I'm 40 years old. Well, he made Jason Todd and Dick Grayson like tiny. way younger than Tim Drake in the Arkham game. When he's the baby, you know? Yeah. Next to Damien, you know? <laughs> Damien doesn't exist in the Arkham Bridge because Talia's dead. Do you know that Damien was supposed to show up? He was supposed to be piloting a robot. That was a thing. I... The Arkham store is kind of got shit. <laughs> oh you think? They're just watching Shadow. <laughs> you know about that? Let me tell you something, kid. Alright. He says that to every person he hits on, so now it's weird. Remember he tells it to Selena? We're just saying, get down the middle, literally. And remember all of his gear had bat logos on it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to my room! <laughs> this isn't your house. Shut up! I'm in a room or so. But yeah, I know this. To be invited to this party would be pretty dope. Though. Yeah, my god, this would be pretty sick. All these one percenters in Gotham City. Look, Marge Simpson! Oh my god! god. <laughs> I just saw that! Is that wow, even Dick Grayson got invited to the party. Right? This no, this no name street kid. Oh, the Ritz Carlton. The Ritz Gotham. Yep. <laughs> These look like the skeleton guys, though. <laughs> they do. So what is it like? Maybe that's our night thing. That's just a the thing they do. Like, but here it's like, oh yeah, we actually have jobs. <laughs> oh, notice here. Um, Drew Barrymore's tits are bigger. That's one thing. Oh yeah, true. But like Jim Carrey, look at his suit and everything and his hair mm. when Bruce shows up. Oh. <laughs> That over exaggeration. I of that love that lady. See, oh, look, see, they look exactly the same. I think that was like maybe a purposeful thing. Probably. She looks like, Drew looks like a doll. When does she not? That's true. She always looks very porcelain. Mm -hmm. See, that's so Jack Ryder. Yeah, <laughs> that's my head cannon. My head cannon is when he turns into creeper. They don't make him yellow. <laughs> yes, please. Just make him normal looking. Or just make him like sickly pale. You know, yeah. like. Gaunt. Like not, almost like, not like yellow. borderline joker. Yeah. Not yellow. And the part in their hair is the same too. Yeah. They even got a blonde on their tongues. Lucky fucking bastard. <laughs> His eyes. <laughs> that was smooth. Oh my god. Yeah. That was a good one. I love this. She even looks at him like, damn, that got me wet. That one is even for me. You can come. Dead. That's like the Harley Quinn line, though. Oh, is it Harley? Shut up! <laughs> is Harley in this look? Actually, she wouldn't be too terrible back in the day. Like, yeah. Like, if somebody in a fan cast of 90s... Drew Barrymore would be a good Harley. Yeah, totally. So this is what Commissioner Gordon wants, huh? Mm, not a successful marriage that he already had. <laughs> right? Not a... Oh, he wants to go to Hawaii on vacation because Gotham sucks. <laughs> not, 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 some, not some, like, quality time with his daughter. He's gonna be a great asset to Batman. No, nope. just some Hawaiian smooches. Yeah, the man needs a vacation. Right, because he just needs a break. He's been dealing with a lot. How impacting on heavy that would be on. Is it poison ivy? Ew. No, thank God, no. 
And he's wearing the same glasses. Right? Yeah, I think he, he's purposely doing it. Yeah, that. okay. But then again, you know how many times there's been a villain of like, he's like Batman. He's like a mirror image to Batman. They like, did that with so many villains. Yeah. They even did that with Kill Him Off. The loser one. So like, what? So they had this whole thing, like, the way that Killer Moth was designed, like, oh, he's supposed to be like an anti Batman and everything. And like, not, not everyone's an anti Batman. Stop it. I mean, who wouldn't want to see a kid man wearing like a leather. And flex on Bruce. But then he's not like, I know. She's looking at him like, you're doing the weirdest shoulder moves just now. You had me going for a little bit, and that now looks like a slot machine more than anything. Right? I thought you said nani nani, as in like Japanese. Nani? Nani? nani. <laughs> yada yada does it. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh. Batman's a Jojo. Uh, thank you, Jojo, for the memes. Oh my god. All oh, the broken English memes. <laughs> Goodbye, Bruce Wayne. <laughs> Honestly, when he was walking by and the light was going on him, that I felt like a total James Bond vibe. Oh, totally. Just dead ass dog purse. That's a hyena purse. It's, <laughs> it's, it's Bud. It's Bud. <laughs> You know, it made Batman and Robin good because it had Bane in it. Mm-hmm. As real. You know what? Imagine how they would have gotten into this one. Oh, oh no, they'd massacre my boy. <laughs> they would have killed him. <laughs> Who would have played him? Bane Reigns? They would have been black, probably. Knowing, knowing the way it goes and all that. Oh, yeah. Like, no, like, no way. Michael Lane wouldn't even exist yet, so you they know probably what? wouldn't have You know what, though? Way. Maybe in a better universe if Azra was in the movie, imagine you're like, the only good part of that movie was Azra, imagine the good. <laughs> wow, it's a good thing that thing, that fountain powered the machines. Mm, right? <laughs> right? Oh yeah, the fountain. We were, we were running on water energy this whole time. I mean, that's pretty good. Remember when Give cell phones were your, that big? Your beepers, your passwords, your, Ow. your tiny scarecrow statues. The fact that Batman changed in his car with that big, thick, heavy suit. Right. I mean, I'm sorry, I've cosplayed before. <laughs> yeah, there's no way you'd be able to suit up with that big. He's like, <laughs> yeah. I love how how Tubin has two different types of wine. Right. Tubs of both. Maybe that's the answer. He's not angry, he's just drunk. I love this line from Jim Carrey. It's coming up. (laughs) (laughs) This guy seems so hype on Batman here. It's a cheating card! Oh my god, it is! It's a card! So that's like the cheating Batman! I feel... I legit love this fight scene. Oh, yeah. But I, I love this... Everyone quotes that line. Yeah. Here's what's good. This is bad. So sassy. See, gang up on Batman. Right. Do not the... what? Not do the old hit him one at a time. We may be criminals, but we're polite. <laughs> we gotta give everyone their fair shot at fighting Batman I mean, one at a time. I mean, he's Batman. We gotta fight Batman. You only get to fight Batman once in a while. The fact that Dick convinced Alfred to bring the costume. Right? Alfred. Yeah, he knew. Hey! <laughs> 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 Indiana Jones reference, right? I know, right? I don't know. I, I wouldn't want her to do it Knowing how they characterize her character right? so far. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus, woman! Crap, woman. People are talking to him. I know, that's hot. Okay, so, so this hard. music here when it shows Two-Face leaving the building is my best, it's, it's my favorite one. Because 
and when Batman jumps off the building and the music just goes, it's like the most superhero yeah. heroic thing next to the eighty nine theme and mm -hmm. the Avengers music and mm -hmm. the Superman Christopher Reeve theme. Mm -hmm. Like this made me think Batman could be real. Man, that's a neon. I like that little smooch. Ow, my lips. This is their perk. Go get him, Batman! Yeah! Guys, can you imagine how many kids are hiding in this part? Yeah. Nope, <laughs> oh, gotta get rid of him. <laughs> imagine if they missed. And he oh, never... okay. Batman dies and just gets killed. We want to be moved. We don't want to be murderers. It's Bane. Look how fucked that guy is. <laughs> I love this so much. Uh, the the suit can secrete a fire retardant. Which is, you know, that, that's a thing. Yeah, but the, that's, that's the thing is, people acting like Joel Schumacher didn't look at any of the comics. I'm sure he did. He probably did. See, this is something the bat suit would have. And also probably make a cool toy that glows. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing. Anti-fire Batman armor. Oh yeah. Take it a little bit. See, that's so Joker though. Oh yeah, they need it. Oh, really it's Joker. a bat out of hell. <laughs> sure. Oh, it's metal as fuck. I know. Dark Knight's metal confirmed. <laughs> Adam shows up out of nowhere. It's the man who laughs. It's the bat who laughs. Bat who laughs. Batman Burger Toys. Check. Yep, there was there there were some like the like he they, they glue. Oh. Um, press the button and then like yeah, so he's like I looked at a shopping area. Oh, these are hot toys, baby. Oh, yeah. I remember having this one. Yeah, so there's that one. And I think there's one that I saw that, like, you press the back and, like, it starts blowing and all that. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, it's DC. He's rising from the grave. Oh, uh, it's a Black Lantern Batman. I have this one, though. This this came oh, out, like, a few one. years ago. I mean, these are the classic ones and all that. Okay. But, yeah, this figure now. <laughs> It's cost so much now in oh, the aftermarket. Because this was like only 2017. I love how there was that shot of Robin without the cape. No! You leave Bat Boy name alone. I like that he said Nightwing. Oh yeah, sure. That, that's pretty cool, that's pretty cool. I like how he, he heard Bat Boy as a dunk on him, and yeah. yet he's like, yeah, I'll totally use that. Yeah, this 30 year old using the name Bat Boy. I'm technically a boy in uh, turtle years. Damn, Val. Just missed your ad, you know? Yeah, this is how much the figure costs now. Holy crap! And this figure started out only at $22. I was gonna say, the only way to get a figure like that is if you try to travel. Oh, right. That's kind of creepy, Bruce. It's so weird that he has that. Like, yeah. Okay. And she's just posing for- But what if you do anything but pose? I mean, it's Nicole Kidman. That's it's true. Gorgeous. It's Nick Bright. She still looks good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, when I saw her in that Lana suit, I'm like, oh. Mm -hmm. She's like, damn, you ain't good. <laughs> <sighs> Get some drinky drink. Celebrating some Thanksgiving. Yep. Drink responsibly, everybody. I'm excited. Even then. The fact he waited for him. Like right? This. <laughs> she's like this. She's just yeah. sitting in the nude. Yeah. Just like, no, he's not showing up. Oh, there he is. Finally, my superhero booty call. She's just known to the superhero community is that, oh yeah, she's a therapist that sleeps around a lot of those. Flash got her last week. <laughs> oh, no. That didn't last long. <laughs> Wait, you're not Selena Kyle. <laughs> you're not Vicky Vale. <laughs> you're not Rachel. You're not Talia. She's like, you're not Ben Affleck. 
Oh. <laughs> You're not Django Fett. That's what she wanted. So Excuse me? Jesus, lady, come on. It was once. He's like, it was once. Much, don't think too much about it. Ah, uh, I know how that feels. Oh yeah. You're like thirty. Do it now. <laughs> me. He just rips it out. He rips it out. Just <laughs> like um. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he's like super horny. No, no, it's easy. We can do this. I met someone else. He's super bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's like that's an actual thing. Remember, did you ever see the new Lego movie? Oh yeah. <laughs> Where the, the guy? Here it goes. The bad, the bad <laughs> smile <laughs> meme. His eyes are. <laughs> Gonna get me some pussy. Ew! <laughs> he said that's his inner voice the whole time. And here's the frog suit. With the jacket, it looks cool. With the jacket, it looks really cool. Without it, I'm not. <laughs> the fact that a glow stick is a USB, basically. Oh my god, he has some green slime in a container. Is it the title? It's confirmed. <laughs> it's the crossover we all wanted. Wait, didn't that happen? Yep. Was it good? Actually, it was too bad. Huh. That. I love their bromance, though. Right? Yeah, like, we haven't missed a villain team up. Have we had. I don't think we've had it in a Marvel movie yet. Like, like villain team ups? Yeah, without having it being a, a, like, a double cross. Yeah, or like, it was Tony Stark the whole time. It was what I, I'm mad because Tony Stark screwed me over. Oh. Oh god. <laughs> Just wear a black sweater. Bam! We're doing Batman and Robin casual. I'm gonna hit Dorian with the. <laughs> I'm gonna hit Dorian with this with the screen cap from here. Hey, let's do casual Batman and Robin. He's got a point. Yeah. Don't dump my load in his face. Ew. Yeah, I love how he asked this of Dick, and of course Dick would listen to that, but Jason would be like, and then he's he dead. <laughs> he's dead, and I'm happy. No one else needs to die. I got the one I wanted. Mm -hmm. Like, literally, if Joker got murdered, mm -hmm. and it wasn't Jason, legitimately, Gotham citizens as well as the Bat family would be happy. Yep. They're like, oh, finally, jeez. That was getting annoying. Yeah. 80 plus years of this bullcrap. <laughs> Did this guy ever take a break? No, by logic of three jokers. Yeah. yeah. Oh, even the Gotham tax look. At, like, even the sign for Gotham tax looks pretty style. Yeah. Funny. Looks like a building. So this it's is a Halloween, Halloween, it's it's a Halloween, Halloween movie. movie. Is, it, is, it, is, it, is it Scarecrow? <laughs> Confirmed this is a Halloween movie. Yep, just hang out Iron Man 3 is a Christmas movie. And the Hawkeye series is a Christmas TV show. And Shazam is a Christmas movie. Yep. I love how that stands out like crazy. I know, it's so bright. See, I like that cowl. Look, he's just in red not on the belt. Yeah. In there, though. The, <laughs> like Ross the dye it. goes onto the belt. That's happened to me before. I understand your pain, Chris. I think that was a bat. It sounded more like a bird. Right? He goes to a costume party just to piss Batman. It's like, look, oh, Bruce Wayne. That's a really nice costume. <laughs> Great Batman costume, Bruce. Uh, I released the hounds. <laughs> <laughs> you know? You know how far out Wayne Manor is in Gotham City? Right? Those kids must have been walking for a long time. Really far without their parents. <laughs> right? They're like, in Gotham City. These freaking candy bars better be worth it. Well, it's it's Wayne Manor. He'd probably give them actual full-size candy because he can afford it. They give them a buffet. 
Oh no, Rose is dropping. I'm having bad flashbacks, like Daredevil. Why did you drop those roses? Look, those were like a red cape. It's Superboy. <laughs> his cos his costume Superman. <laughs> I love this Look, part. Those, those are the Titans. Oh, <laughs> I love this part when they're like they hug. <laughs> I love their bromance. Right? Legit. It's so fun. Doesn't Batman have a pumpkin head villain or not? Yeah. Yeah or no? Sca Scarecrow. Oh, Scarecrow, yeah. Okay. Oh, it's a little Scarecrow. I love this, I love this. <laughs> 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 I love how that problem was just Jim. Yeah. yeah. Jim Carrey. And maybe it was a good day on set that Tommy Tom was wasn't okay with grumpy. It. Oh, yeah, I heard, like, so many stories of him being real grumpy on set. Yeah. And I heard it's like he didn't like working with Jim. He, he said, I can't sanction your buffoonery. Ouch. That's just, right? But that's not Jim's fault. That's, just that's Jim's... the script and the directing. Also, Jim should be like, sorry, I'm actually funny. Here. I'm like, like I'm just... actually funny. I'm a comedic actor mostly. I'm really good at what I do. Up here. See, this is something that I liked about this movie. Like, Bruce confronting his trauma. Which they haven't done. Like, they kind of did in... They did it in Batman Begins. I want to know what, what that red it? book was. His journal. Oh, his journal, okay. okay. But what's it mean to Bruce, you know? Well, I mean, Bruce, you could you could write in the he pages. Just, he just draws a dick on it, like, and draws, this is property of Bruce Wayne, but if found, please return. That would have broken his right? legs. I felt forever. Oh, did you see the deleted scene of the giant man bat creature? Yeah. And that was a prosthetic and animatronic. Really should have kept that. Yeah. It's Man Bat. Hey, remember Man Bat and Batman v Superman? No? <laughs> yeah, majority of people don't, because it was only like a second. I like it's his destiny, and the bat's like, ah, hey, you're destiny. The bat looks so fluffy. Well, bats are fluffy. They're very fluffy. Like, they're yeah. fluffy and cute. Yeah, like they're not. He's like, whoop. It's Halloween. The fact that it has such big, beady, cute eyes, too. <laughs> Don't you worry, Bruce. <laughs> this way, trying to kill me. Don't you worry, Bruce. A bat. Now that's how they find out. <laughs> She's like, hey. Wait a minute, your You're lips feel just like Batman's. Batman's. Hey, put some rubber over your face. Hold on. Hey, wait a minute. Yep, just like how at the end of the first Spider-Man movie, mm -hmm. when Mary Jane kissed Tobey Maguire, she's like, wait a minute. Are you going to wipe her mind too, like Superman did to Lois, Bruce? <laughs> oh yeah, the forgetful kiss thing. Where did they get those masks? Oh, those are ugly kids. <laughs> oh, poor Alfred. Oh. Yeah, that fall would have killed Alfred. Yeah, like he's he's, he's that not, old. He's not he's not equipped enough to deal with that. <laughs> Ace, it's only Tommy Lee Jones and Jim Carrey. It's only these two actors. <laughs> I love this line. <laughs> Oscar winning writing. <laughs> that's what Any my character. Nominated. That's what my OC <laughs> calls me <probably> every night. <laughs> that's what I say about Nami Doms. <laughs> I, like, I love how like, the alert doesn't sound right, dude. I know. Yeah, that's been true. Anyway. <laughs> that's how I am with my alarm clock in the morning. Shut up! <laughs> yeah, you know what? I gotta go to work. Even he seems impressed by that. That's you first seeing this damn thing. Yep. 
That's me whenever I see that version of the Batmobile. In comparison to the Bat Tumbler thing? No, we don't talk about that. The bat Tank. I love how Ben Affleck's Batmobile is like the anorexic cousin to the Tumbler. Right? No one likes the Tumbler though. I literally want those props, the right. little Riddler bat no, bombs. They look so easy to make, too. They look easy to make, but it's actually someone's selling version of probably pricing and everything. Yeah. Yeah, that's called acclimation. <laughs> and cartoon. They made these cute cartoon sound effects. That's called an animation. Let talk. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jump to rip this part off. <laughs> He's having fun on the I know. <laughs> They're like, let's just let you let Oh, this part broke my heart. heart. Let's see. Oh. Not the car. Now that's just a step too far, Riddler. The fact that actually did blow up though. An actual battle. Yeah. Oh! Oh! I bet you, like, someone's like, I'm selling a burn version of the Batmobile. Wear a dance belt, Jim. Whoa, I just knows that. <laughs> Cosplay 101, dance belt. Yep, yeah, it's really no good No one wants to see the frog <laughs> guy. <laughs> It's okay, boy. You'll get him next time. It's just Tommy Lee Jones shooting Val Kilmer. <laughs> just a friendly image. I love how bad he doesn't bark at. I know. <laughs> oh, you see. You see, well, it's Bruce Wayne that's getting hurt. <laughs> He's ace. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, he's like, yeah, protect him. How old is he? He's three. Sorry, folks. Uh, Dog barking. He's just a big puff. Very passionate about justice. I'm just gonna lay here and pretend like that none of this is happening. He dreams he's Superman. <laughs> he just has dreams of him being other characters. <laughs> it's like, oh man, in this universe, I was a psycho Christian with a red <laughs> outfit. For some reason, I was named Azrael. <laughs> in this universe, I'm playing volleyball with Tom Cruise. Oh, <laughs> he's just going through everything else that he's been in. In this universe, I was a cowboy. <laughs> Weird. In this universe, I'm Moses. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that blew my mind when I found out that Val Kilmer voice was Moses, Moses, Prince yeah. of Egypt. And then Jeff Goldman was uh, 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 Aaron, the uh, brother of uh, 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 Moses. <laughs> and Sandra Bullock was in a pitch. Yeah. A lot of people are in that movie. Which was, and that was good voice yeah. casting. Okay, there's no way this would have shocked me more. Look at that. Yeah, guy. Nicole Kidman in like Nicole a... Nicole chains in that pose. And lace. I love this jacket! <laughs> So oh, stupid. I hope that's me. I hope someone's cosplay like that. <laughs> so stupid, but I love it. Someone has had to cosplay that. Oh, yeah, they'll come for you. <laughs> this is so improv. That's his grinch voice. Oh, it is his grinch voice! <laughs> oh, he's coming for you, but uh, by himself. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, that was cool. That's really cool. I noticed that you, this movie has started that where, like, anytime Riddler shows up in a thing, where he's like the main villain, it's always the question mark yeah. of that symbol. Like, they're doing that for the new ones and everything. Are they? I see some posters where they have, like, a bloody question mark uh, on that symbol. So, like, you know, they'll do it, their own thing. What kind of computer is that? It's a, uh, you know, internet search 90s. <laughs> I 
I love this side of Batman. Yeah. Like the smart. We have it. How many times have we had like the detective other than right now, you know? None. We mostly have <laughs> punch, punch, explosions. Punch things that hang me angry. About time you figured it right? out. Oh, I love this solar suit. I want to cosplay that one too. Stick with, he said sickly suicide, like a squad, a squad of suicide. Oh no. I love it. Let's see. I bet this toy is made of this thing. Dude, that's the one that coming from Hot Toys. Oh, there you go. It's like a big salad point too. Hey, look, the solar suit doesn't have nipples. Yep. It's got a booty though. It's got a booty. Dang. You know what? As someone who's worked out tons on his ass in spandex, I'd be like, I, I understand it, Val, I get you. Oh, the Batwing looks so good. Honestly, I like this. I'm sorry, folks. I like this design of the Batwing more than the Michael Keaton one. Oh, hey, my boy. You're not Tim Drake. <laughs> That was, I'm sorry, that was a fast work, man. I got some fast hands on my old ass. Notice how there's an R on his mask, too? Yeah, I have one of this little R there. Nice. <laughs> this is the weirdest happy way to say it. I might murder somebody tonight. <laughs> anyway. I like partner, but... <laughs> it looks so cool! It does look cool, I'm not gonna lie. It's better than how the bat was designed, remember that thing? That not Metal Gear? Yeah. And the boat looks cool too. When was the last... This is the last time we got like a bat boat thing, huh? Mm -hmm. Remember the next movie where he goes, Cowabunga! Oh, he goes surfing. No. <laughs> I don't want to. Oh, Jim wouldn't shut that thing down. Right? Jim's not the one to say He'd that. He'd leave it on to like remind people that Batman's out there. Mm -hmm. Well, I forget what I just said. He just assumes it's Batman. Like, what if it was uh, just a normal airline? <laughs> So positive over this thing. See, look how cool that looks. <laughs> thumbs up. Is that a meme? Yeah, that's a meme. Cool. The back thumbs up. Yeah. Around. Like, See, this music is so heroic. It feels like it's like the heroes are coming to save the day. It feels like a superhero. <laughs> Here it comes. The board game of the century. Oh, <laughs> There's so much that could be sold on this. I know. I want a Batman Battleship to game. Oh, God, this is cool. That's some pretty close calls they're making. Right? And yet they don't even see where they are. World's deadliest guessing game. Yep. It's my first day, damn it. Right? Oh, I was like, God damn it. Oh, that's the, the line of a sidekick. <laughs> I love how stupid oh, it God, is. I like, honestly, the amount of stupidity I think would fit with the Tom Holland Spider Man. Oh, yeah. Man. You know what? I'll be honest. Hey, these aren't Black Manta's goons! <laughs> oh, 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 it's, it's Aquaman's guys. You're, this is our territory. Get out of here. Activate the super death ray. <laughs> the super mega ultra friendly death ray. Ooh. Well, you couldn't have missed it. I mean, your laser machine's freaking like as big as a skyscraper. It's like aiming a missile at a freaking ant, you know? Oh, 
And the fact the jet turns into a submarine. That's cool. That is so comics. Right? <laughs> Buy this toy. Buy this <laughs> toy. Buy the Buy the Scooble guys so you can have Robin fight them. And, and that one's singing. Oh, so the Hot Toys is gonna come with that net launcher gun. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Uh, like the sonar battering, interchangeable hands, of course. Jesus. And you know how he gets those cool lenses? Yeah. Yeah. Like at times he can be genuinely like insane. Yeah, and disturbingly insane. And all. Yeah. Oh, your favorite line. Your favorite line. I love how Magic says, oh. I love this is holiness and like, you look at the ground, it's all coming across us and they're like, oh. oh. It's like, oh great, Azrael's here. Oh god, no. It's like, oh great, who invited him? Azrael's that one. As, Does he know? At, at bat. Family Thanksgiving, he's the one that always brings up religion. <laughs> did not remember to pray? Did I tell you guys that the whole pilgrim started things? Yes, Azrael, we know. Did you all remember to pray? Yes, Azrael. Damon's like, no. <laughs> Jesus quietly takes the play from him. <laughs> See, this part coming up feels genuinely like the death trap rhythm. Mm -hmm. We need more. Hopefully, there's death traps, not yeah. just bombs or I don't, whatever. Uh, I get tired of just, it's a bomb. Yeah. yeah. It's like the new Book of No Hero movie where, like, the plot was like, it's a villain who hid bombs around the city, and I'm like, wow. That's real original, you know? Way to tell him who you are. <laughs> my uncle's mother's cousin's. <laughs> Former roommate. <laughs> Former roommate. My dog. My cat. I love the shot of Robin. Those. This is actually. Well, his brother before didn't what did have a tiny chip. He wasn't Jason level. Like in remember in the the anime series Robin Rising and all that. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. It's in canon for him to do that. So I can see that. Batman, do you want to play a game? <laughs> Cut your arm off in order to escape this death trap. <laughs> Seriously, tell me no one's been wanting this crossover for years. Okay. <laughs> just let him <Susan> fall. <laughs> Alright. I'm not gonna lie though, the black glove and spikes has a pretty slick look on that. Mm -hmm. On that green get up and everything. Yeah. Because it's like, I never got used to the Robin suit having the arm spikes. Mm. Even to this day. It still looks a little weird. It feels, as someone who's worn it, it feels out of place and everything. That's why I like the Arkham one. I get told that a lot. Huh? Huh, that, look, an actual normal looking gun. Oh, fuck. He's like, oh shit, you have a normal gun. Oh, fuck, you have a normal gun. <laughs> this suit is so cool. I'm sorry for sipping over how good this suit is. The rocket boots! <laughs> It's a it's a cartoon suit. Yeah. What's good about it, yeah. Rocket boots. This movie ripped off Iron Man. <laughs> go go, Batman rocket boots. <laughs> and on today's episode of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, Bruce Wayne. I'm already a millionaire. Well, game over. <laughs> Lady Gaga called. She wants her costume back. <laughs> Who's actually willing to cosplay this costume of Riddler? I, I've met many Riddler cosplayers. I don't think they would. He looks like David Bowie's very odd cousin. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't he? Real. And me. So I'm sorry. I just love that. And me. I'm here too. <laughs> Men, specifically men. I don't know about women or kids, but yeah, men, specifically me. Hentai passwords. 
That's a really good plan. Yeah. That's really interesting. Uh huh. <laughs> Got my dog going. Oh. Yeah, I saw his ears perked up. <laughs> like, damn. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Jim Carrey's really good at death metal voice. <laughs> Uh, excuse you, you look you were Oh, yeah. Freak. freak. You all belong in a Vegas go go show. <laughs> You're wearing all black. That's weird. Not like these sequined suits and question marks on your eyes. I got this part. Oh, Drew. Hello, Hi. Drew. Hi. That's such, such a fetish shot. Yep. <laughs> that too, specifically. Every star, every Starfire Robin Shipper and Dash Robin Shipper is like talking like, crazy right now. All of these. Like Saturday morning cartoons, I'm like, I'm 29. <laughs> like, I mean, we're still watching Saturday morning cartoons. Yeah, you know what? Never mind. I'm 25 and I do that. Like, <laughs> like that's not been done before. Oh, yeah. Oh. Are there freaking sharks with freaking laser beams on their freaking heads? Let me call my friend Clark. <laughs> or Barry. Right. Which one will it be better? Like Batman needs friends. Mm -hmm. Or the Dark Knight's Junior Dark Man. Philosophy. I'm really sure sitting down to really hear about this life and death shit. Yeah, Riddler was kind of the main villain of this. Yeah. I wonder if the Hot Toys figure is going to have that, that click thing. I think Robin's like, no, fucking no. Actually, bats aren't blind. Oh, that's them. so cool! Sonar suit, I get it. But, like, it's actually like, actually, bats aren't blind. You they know? You know how, like, movie toys, like, give you the mask and all that? Yeah. Like, like, you know, the sonar suit comes with, like, the blue thing? Yeah, that would be cool, like, if you could look down the bottle. Mm -hmm. That'd be wicked. Oh, he's going all, like, elephant man mm -hmm. and more face. Ow. Oh, the CG! <laughs> <laughs> Some facial exercises, like, to the extreme. He was the best one. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh no, is he gonna save them or are they gonna snap on the ground like Gwen Stacy? <laughs> it's the same scene! It's just the, both of their necks. <laughs> oh no, the bat batarang is gonna stretch into a hand. It's like the web. I did do that! And it's so stupid! I get the point where he was. <laughs> He saves him, he just looks at Spider-Man like, Yeah, that's how it's done. <laughs> Why would you do that? You're falling faster. I'm gonna say, they've fallen for quite a while. Yeah. Grab the cape. There you go. Yay! He did it! It's Robin's face! <laughs> Like at that speed, he wouldn't have hurt himself. Yeah, he's like, eww. Dang, you can see how stretched the stand. Oh, because of the oh. hold of rubber on the suit. Yeah, it's like, oh my god. You can tell it's it is like, not it's attached gonna, to their it's body. Gonna you can tell it's not attached to their body. get there so fast. Some super villain teleportation. <laughs> You didn't pee pee poo poo today. You're always in two minds about everything. Yes, of course you're right, 
fruit. They wish as long as the enemy of true justice, right? He always had a good friend. Yeah, that was the only time that I actually, like, felt sorry for him. Yeah, but also, like, that, like, Harvey came out and everything. Like, one, one part. Oh, there he goes. That man, you just killed your former <laughs> friend. He just called you a good friend and you're letting him die. Oh, I want that dick kill him, but if I kill him... <laughs> I didn't kill him, the fall did. Oh, and you know how the, he, he, he would fall on the, uh... In that thing, and the, the spike thing. Yeah. Though, do you think he got impaled? More than likely. <laughs> Dick's looking at that like, well, technically we didn't kill him. His coins did. <laughs> I'm not a monster. I'm a man. <laughs> no one's gonna cosplay me. <laughs> Cause we are Sonic heroes. No. Does that happen? You ever play Sonic Heroes? Yep. He's like, why? His metal song is like, why can't I ever kill you? Because we are Sonic Heroes. So fucking... Batman's all like, we can show you the superpower of teamwork. <laughs> With the power of my friend. <laughs> <laughs> I just noticed on the side of the cow, it's like a little giant. Yeah, that's actually... That's cool. Didn't the new Titan 2 mask have that? Mm -hmm. Or was it like more like an inside part? It was, it, they had that part. Like, there have been parts of like... I this, think it's the first time we saw Arkham Asylum on Yeah! Time, and then, and this design, too. Yeah. Even in the animated ones, it was silhouetted. This guy looks like he would be a good Jonathan Crane. Oh, see. Oh, is that a, is that Hugo Strange? <laughs> oh, no. Hugo Strange has to be bald. And not eccentric, you know? Yeah. And not too old looking. I'm not gonna lie, I know we give a lot of crap to the Gotham show, but BD Wong as Hugo Go Strange was so good. Right? Also, another good Asian representation. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Could never forget Nicole Kidman. Mm -hmm. What if Nicole Kidman as an adult would be <laughs> Nicole Woman? <laughs> Nicole Woman. It's Cuban Pete! <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like that, how he's like... Dead, broken inside? Yeah, but then it's the fact, I know the secret. So yeah, because he technically does. Yeah, you know? but it's like, it's too good for me to tell anybody. Yeah, but I like to think that he's not, yeah, he's literally lying, you know? Yeah, but it's like, remember at the it's end like, of Hush, Hush like, it's like, it's like, yeah, sure, you know my secret identity, but the riddle is worthless if you tell everybody. Yeah. And he's like, oh, damn it. Shit, you got me with my own guitar. Yep. Doing the stretchies, pupper? You, you happy that justice is served? Good yeah, point. He is. He is. He's like, happy man served justice. I'm good. Why are there so many holes in the gate of Arkham? <laughs> right? Who, oh, Deadshot shot the gate. <laughs> Will Smith shot the gate. Look, they all look like polka dots. It's polka dot man. <laughs> I'm a superhero! I felt so bad. That, I was like, aww, well, he's gonna be in Ant-Man 3. <laughs> Tune in next week for the concluding adventures of Batman and Robin, the movie that will fail this franchise. <laughs> you're, you're gonna want a refund, kids! Notice how the bat ears are jiggling. Ah, <laughs> uh, urethane rubber. Ah. Uh. Good, good times. And oh. that was Batman Forever, everybody. It holds up. It really does hold up. Like, mm -hmm. if you want a good mix of campy, yet does have some serious parts. Like, and did actual detective work. Yeah, this is it until we get the the Batman. Which hopefully mm -hmm. that does good. You know? Yeah. I mean, from the look of things, it is going to do good. Mm -hmm. and, hold on, let's talk about that really quick. Yeah. So... 
Can Colin Farrell as the penguin. Yeah, right? I didn't think that needed that casting, but that's really yeah, good. Yeah, but it, also the fact that you know how the penguin is typically uh, British. Yeah, he's a British. How guy. do you, what do you think of him being like, a hey, typical New Yorker sounding? I mean, I can kind of see it, you know, I can, it's, it still works for him, mm-hmm. which is, it's interesting they got Colin Farrell to do that when he can... Because he's he, Irish. <laughs> but also he can do a British accent. Yeah, he can. Cockney. He can do a Cockney accent and everything. So it's a really interesting route to take Penguin and make him a New Yorker and everything. Yeah, I was like, oh, take it easy, sweetheart. And I was like, okay, that's a voice change. It's, a, it's an interesting but choice. It's like, okay, I can see, like, even though he still has that very Penguin ugliness to him mm-hmm. somewhat, but at least with, like, with that type of accent, if, like, a female character, like, yeah, I could see a woman wanting to be with this version of Penguin. Yeah, because he seems powerful. Yeah, everything. powerful, and he's not too ugly. Yeah, he's he's Colin Farrell. He's, I mean, even with the makeup, but still, mm-hmm. and um, like, but when Penguin is usually like the Brizzling, he looks ugly as all oh, hell. Yeah, he he looks like grony, but like he yeah. doesn't look presentable and everything. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I I think like they're going the route they're going for because you're obviously going for like this noir kind yeah. of feel. And you know, I kind of like how kind of cool it is that Penguin is not a midget for once. <laughs> yeah, like it's interesting. Like I noticed they've always made him a little person when. I mean, he's supposed to be short and stuff, yeah. for sure, but, you know, cartoons make things more exaggerated. Yeah. And everyone remembers the Danny... The, the, the Danny DeVito. Which was the New York accent, remember? He wasn't... Um, oh, yeah, he's, he sort of had a New York accent. Yeah, but, totally. But, like, in everything else, he had a sub-British yeah, accent. Yeah, and everything. But, like, so I think this is more, like, harkening to the, the, Danny, the Danny one, which was good. I, I like that yeah. one. Yeah. I just hope that there's no weird cannibalistic stuff. Yeah, that's, I hope they don't go too far. Away. I hope Colin Farrell doesn't bite people's noses. That was weird. <laughs> but yeah, so I hope they don't go too overboard with it. Other than that, I'm, I'm really excited for that cast. Yeah. I really want to see the, the Selena Kyle in that one. Oh. Think. So that, that Zoe one. Zoe Kravitz. Zoe Kravitz is going to own that role and everything. I'm, mm. I'm happy we're getting POC, like uh, Selena, which she is in the comics. Mm-hmm. She's from Cuba, you mm-hmm. know? Oh, I mean, she looks great in her costume regardless, mm-hmm. but give her the Michelle Pfeiffer outfit, though. Mm-hmm. Or something like it. You know, if we're going to be throwing back to the to that one, I would still see her in a shell. Like, maybe that's also what this Riddler mask is kind of like. Maybe it's like a throwback to a Tim to Burton. something. Because like, it, it, you told me this is inspired by the Burton verse, I could totally see it, you know? But dude, speaking of costumes, the amount of hits and bullets that Pattinson is tanking in that trailer. Mm-hmm. Like... This man has more armor than Bale. I remember also like when that was announced, do you remember people being like, oh, Edward Cullen is Batman? I'm like, that was 10 years ago. Before. Yeah. Like, Robert has, I, I, He has evolved a lot. He has a lot. some very interesting roles <laughs> as, as since the Twilight days. <laughs> like, if you saw him in The Lighthouse and everything. Perfect movie. Perfect. It's a great movie. Great casting. So, I, yeah, I can see him doing this kind of very much darker in tone mm-hmm. kind of thing. And I kind of, for me, obviously, personally, I want there at least to be a hint of Robin, you know, something in there. The maybe the Graysons are there. You know? it's like, oh, like, at the end of the movie, it's like, hey, oh, it's hey, Mas- Alfred gives um, Bruce a magazine or a paper, like, oh. The Flying Graysons are there. Yeah, do you want to see that? Yeah. Do you want to take Miss Kyle there? And it's like, oh. Maybe, mm-hmm. maybe Robin. Yeah, I can like, see. I, think even I mean, Jason even like if yeah. Like, if he comes across a kid like who is like hungry and everything. Yeah, and all that. it's like what's your name, kid? Jason. Jason. And like yeah, like oh my god, a little street urchin Jason be like, man, no one want me around and everything, mm-hmm. you know? Kind you know, like, and Robert Pattinson is still young enough mm-hmm. to take on a Robin. Oh yeah, totally. He's not like old, old. He's yeah, like, in his early twenties. Mm-hmm. I think. I mean, in the Dark Knight, at that point of. Christian Pale's career as Batman in story, I think at that time it would be good to take on a Robin, mm-hmm. not at when he's calling it quits and rises. Yeah. But, but yeah. Never, like your tire man not trained this guy and everything. It's like, oh yeah, I'm out of this. Here, All right. Good luck. <laughs> I know you know absolutely nothing about what I do, but uh, good luck on that one. He's gonna like break his back <laughs> day one. And like, you know, like, I want to, I, I think we're at the point where we can have Robin in things and all that. Hopefully. Because, like, I mean, there was hints of it, at least with the Snyderverse, where at least Robin's suit showed up. That's the stepping stone, you know? In the wrong direction, because we never got anything after it. Yeah, in the wrong one, sadly. And, I mean, I there mean, was also, like, the whole, like, never since a boy wonder and everything like that. Oh, yay! I, 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 honestly, even that little dropping of, like, what, of 
he existed at least, mm-hmm. everything was cool. Yeah. So I think I think I'm I'm hyped for for this one. I remember when that dropped on Fandom, that I got the like, hugest pop from people. Yeah, I was like skeptical at first, mm-hmm. but then when I saw that very first trailer from Fandom 2020, I was like, and I'm going they to their online the shop best. and buying a Batman, the Batman shirt. Right. They they saved so much good for Fandom and everything like. Even, like, the Black Adam trailer and everything. You know what I find weird, though, about this year's fandom? Mm. They announced movies that we know are coming out, but nothing afterward. Yeah. Like, it nothing was... of what's to come after. No, no hints at everything else. And yeah. All. Not like... You know, but that's good. Mm-hmm. Because that's a problem that Warner Brothers has had. They announced too much. And then they can't deliver. Yeah. Remember the Nightwing movie? Oh, yeah, that was supposed to be a thing. Remember the Cyborg movie? Supposed to be a thing. Remember Green Man Lantern? Of Steel? Remember Man of Steel 2? Uh, there was hints of that. That made me sad. But, like, that's the thing. Like, yeah, like, because I remember before they would show all these, like, posters specifically of, like, we're developing this, 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 and this. Yeah. You're going to see it next year. Don't say that, you know? Yeah, exactly, because they put so much on their plate. Like, they didn't um, finish what they have, what they have. They have the... It's like if you, if it's like drawing a concept art and then saying, my series will be ready by then, you know, like, mm. don't do that. Yeah. It's like, that's why I kind of like what Marvel did recently, where they're just showing off what they already have completed. Yeah. And everything. Which, um, I'm okay with most of that, mm. you know, but yeah, like that, the Batman looks good. Mm-hmm. That looks really good. Like, it looks like it's kind of also doing what Marvel did with their Daredevil series of the grit is real yeah. now and everything. Like, mm-hmm. that scene where he's just fighting down some random thugs and he's, like, genuinely getting tired from it and mm-hmm. everything. Man, those thugs, though, in the rain got... <laughs> They're gonna get wrecked. <laughs> oh, though, notice Selena had skull paint, and in this movie, they had skull paint. Maybe. <laughs> maybe they're related to the rave gang. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's who these are, the rave gang, but now they got gritty and real. Oh, no. These are the... The children of that <laughs> rave game. It's like, no, son, that was in the 90s. You don't need to do that anymore. <laughs> that was a long time ago. <laughs> All right, guys. So right. this was a commentary for Batman Forever. Mm-hmm. If you don't have this movie, I mean, if you have HBO Max, I mean, just watch it. Yeah. And uh, if you had watched the movie and listening to this commentary, thank you so much. Yeah, very um, awesome. Share your thoughts. Share this SoundCloud mm-hmm. commentary. All right, everybody. Thank you so much. Bye. Happy holidays.